Well, hello everyone. This is Stevio here, and we just got done playing around with the beautiful Corvette. Yep, yep, you guessed it. We are in Richville. We are living our dream. So if you don't remember, we're newly rich, kind of, you know, don't fit around in the newly rich urban community. So I decided to move out to the farm. I decided to chase my dream, build my own farm, and uh, yeah, I'm living in my beautiful uh, cabin getaway here. Uh, we need to do a lot of work. We have a lot of planning. As you know, we just built our farm. We just bought some of our equipment. Now we are extremely behind. We need to start planting, start digging. But my wife put me on a mission. You might be able to guess what mission that is. I did buy some serious equipment. No, no, this isn't all of it, but this is some of it, I guess. We need to head out to our farmyard. Of course, we got the beautiful Denali here. On our uh, fresh load of equipment. You guys are probably wondering, how much equipment did I end up purchasing from that dealer? A lot. Uh, still don't have near enough because uh, I got a lot of land to run through. Yeah, I, I bought a ton of land and I don't even really have enough help or anything. I'm kind of trying to uh, put a, some feelers out there and, you know, some good hired help. Maybe, uh, you know, a foreman, somebody that can kind of help me run this farm because uh, let's just say I'm, I'm new, I'm a rookie. And I'm millennial, so everything I know how to uh, do, I just look up on YouTube. Which, I could probably figure it all out, but I can't run this big of a farm by myself. Let's just say that. Ooh, look. Somebody's out there planting. And I'm not. Yep. They're planting, and I'm not. A little jelly right now. Alright, coming up to a turn. Ooh, don't want to pull out in front of that semi. Yeah, must be hauling seed, maybe? I'm not for sure. Okay. Well, my side of the road there. There we go. Man, there's a lot of... There's a ton of operations happening in this quiet night neighborhood, man. Look at all these people going... Why is your uh, flashers on there? Alright. Ooh, look at that planting. Wow. Somebody got their field done already. Oh yeah, that's that beautiful John Deere with that giant air drill. Man, that thing. That probably didn't take very long for planting that field. Uh, looks like somebody is uh, running in the field over here. It's got him a little podunk car right there. Hmm. A little uh, old uh, RT, I guess. Or is that a T series? I don't think that's a R. No, I just, just think that's a T. Alright, so this is our farmyard here. And yeah, you don't see any tillage done yet. Yeah, I'm behind. Like usual, you can always fault me. We bought a lot of new stuff here. Alright, so we got a road track right here. Brand new. I love the tracks on this thing. This is going to be one of our planting tractors. We this thing has everything you need in it. All the precision. Look at all them screens. A ton of screens. We ended up going with two Case IH precision planters right here early risers I don't think they're called precision maybe that's John Deere I think they're called early risers so we already had this one of course we ended up purchasing 8RX here uh, just because we can we have a ton of money we do have a tank behind it so we are uh, set up for planting at least I hope so we did get some tillage equipment too behind this beautiful blade here we got 580 Steiger here. Yep, that's a another AFS Case IH. It was between this and a quad track. I don't know. I just uh, 
because I didn't really want to pay that extra money is almost a hundred thousand extra I ended up just getting tired but they're big 900s on here so yeah we'll have a ton of more compaction with this thing got a huge 2730 John Deere Ripper fuel cultivator there and we got another John Deere here a John Deere 9620 I know it's not new you guys are probably like you have all the money in the world why don't why didn't you buy this one is because of the sound I just fell in love with the sound beautiful sounding tractor it was recently overhauled it's almost brand new it has GPS has everything you know and we got a Borat field uh, cultivator here so this is gonna be our field finisher so the plan is I'm gonna get both my hired hand started on tillage here I have a wifey do honey do list that I need to complete before I can start all right run over here so yep we got a huge blade on this girl here yeah she she's a big old blade right over there you could kind of see where we started running our uh, tillage there okay we're gonna get this outside tillage done here hopefully Yep, I'm missing a little bit there. Doing a horrible job. Better find a higher hand that can do a better job. That's that's the mission always, right? Let's see how this stuff is doing. I might have too much residue going on here, so that might be an issue. Hmm. We might have to deal with that residue. Well, the hired hand ain't here yet, so I kind of, I guess, while I'm waiting for him, while I'm waiting for the hired hand to show up, I think I'll uh, contemplate on that. It got way too much residue. The, this should have been tilled in last fall, but the farmer, the last farmer did not complete this, so I don't know. We're going to have to figure out something to do with that residue. We need to finish our honeydew list. We do have another tillage equipment over there. Yeah, that's, that's the big girls right there. Or at least that's the fun. Uh, is the tractor in my way? Uh, I think it is. The 9620 is in my way. I'm going to have to move that over here to the side here. Yeah, she screams. There we go. Get this out of the way here quickly. Yep. That is why I bought her, just because she sounds so good. Oh man, can't wait to start some serious tillage. My hired hand ain't gonna show up. I guess I'm gonna be all me, myself, and I. All right, I'm gonna drive over here to the side. So uh, you probably already guess what we're doing here. My wife wants to have a garden. So, ooh, wow. This kind of stuff got all jackknife around here. Uh oh, uh, must have been go must have happened when I was going over the bumps here. So my wife wants to have a garden out over here by the farm. She doesn't want it up by the house because uh, there's a lot of deer up there, and uh, our goal is to have the deer up and around the house, comfortable. So if we put a garden there and then put an electric fence around it. Uh, I don't think that they're not going to be as comfortable. So my uh, idea is to put it out over here uh, on our farmyard here. And uh, of course we don't want deer really around here because they'll eat our crops. And that that'll, won't be the greatest thing. Uh, how am I going to get this? Oh, look at this thing. This is all messed up here. Got all this money, of course, you know, you gotta play. 
these are gonna be my uh, play tractors, I guess. So first, I think we are gonna do a little bit of mowing around here. This way, we don't have to deal with all that residue. All right. Got that. Raise the deck there. Now what we got to do before we start some tillage here. We just got to spread some fertilizer. That way it gets nice and tilled into the soil. All right, so I got that till machine, and I also, I, I, I got two till machines, so I want to try them both. So yeah, yeah, I don't know, I just got a lot of toys. Why not? I'm rich. So we got this little itty bitty disc here on this. I just want to see what this little, uh, what does this thing have, like 25 horsepower uh, mower here has in it. I want to see if it can really handle this little itty bitty disc. I know, of course, I could just not fold down the wings of this thing and just back it up into that area and have a beautiful garden bed right there in a matter of a split second. But, you know, that's the easy way out. Not everyone has a million dollars set of tillage equipment. To, uh, play around with there. There we go. Oh wow, it's pulling it easy. Real easy. Put that down. Back up just a hair, trying to make it nice and straight as possible. Whew. That'll put some dirt in the air. This is a perfect operation if you don't have a ton of money for tillage equipment. Yeah, just get you a little uh, John Deere 748. And you can feel like a farmer for only a couple thousand, I guess. So the plan is to uh, have some tomatoes and some uh, sweet corn. That's the most important items in a garden, at least in my opinion. Uh, maybe we'll put some uh, green peppers in there. And uh, I guess, I don't know, maybe some radishes. A lot of people don't like radishes. I've always liked them as a kid. thing up till away and this is too easy here too easy take no time at all which is good because we need to get to some tillage because my hired hand still hasn't showed up yet but happy wife is a happy life but thank you all for watching and I will see you next time over here in Richfield Hired hand still hasn't got here. Yeah, yeah, I just drove over by a beautiful garden. I couldn't get around to the field either other way. Don't forget, like the video. Thank y'all. <laughs>